Kara Bullock. Kara is an artist who lives in Southern California. Kara okay. has 20 okay. plus years of experience in teaching and curriculum development. She began her career as an elementary school teacher in 1998, working with children ages six through 12. In 2018, she stepped away from teaching education courses to work full time as an artist, art instructor, and mentor. Her work as an online instructor quickly transferred over to teaching art to students all over the world. Kara Bullock. I'm known as a crier, so if I cry, I just get emotional. It's just the artist in me. I'm gonna really try hard to not do that. Um, thank you so much uh, for being here today and for WordPress Camp for having me and encouraging me to um, submit to speak here. I'm really excited to be here and share with you all. And uh, I'm basically just gonna share my journey with you from elementary school teacher to owning my own online art school and in-person art studio and how WordPress has really helped um, me to share with the world who I am and what I have to offer to other people, maybe even to you. So um, my, my um, WordPress pro for me provides the best canvas for a creative business and it's helped me to grow my business one step at a time. So let's see here. Okay, so who am I? I'm gonna share a little bit about who I am. My name's Kara Bullock and above all things, I'm a mom and a wife. I get emotional about this because my husband's been super supportive of this journey of mine and I would not be here today without him and, uh, and my kids too. So I have uh, three children. We're very busy, 14, 12, and nine, Charlotte, Claire, and Brady. And uh, they're also um, pretty creative, so it's been fun. My daughters are my muses. I paint them all the time. I'll show you some of their, my paintings uh, towards the end. Um, I started my journey, and my first career was an elementary school teacher. Prior to that, I wanted to be an artist. Growing up, I wanted to be an artist, but uh, you know, when I was going to school back in the day, it was like, oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go to Knott's Berry Farm or Disneyland and do caricatures? And no, I didn't wanna do that. And so I went to college not really knowing what to do and um, ended up going to uh, school to become a school teacher. So I studied child and adolescent studies, went on to get my teaching credential from Cal State Fullerton and graduated there in 99 and started teaching elementary school. I did that for 10 years and loved it. And I, I also got to be really creative there, so that was nice. Um, and I really just, I love people, I love children, I loved adults, I loved the interaction of being around people all day. And, um, but I became a mom and um, after having two children and being pregnant with a third, my mom said, uh, my mom was taking care of our daughters while we went to school and along was coming baby three and my mom was like, uh, I'm gonna need you to be home helping me. And so I thought, well, what am I gonna do? So I started teaching college online. I started teaching education courses for different uh, universities that offered online programs for in child development, early childhood, elementary education, anything education that I could teach online. I looked for those colleges and I ended up with seven. So I ended up teaching for seven online schools. I stayed home. 10 years and um, was able to be a mom and, um, and work full time. And my mom helped me. She would come over and um, <clears throat> help me in the morning for a few hours. I don't know what's happening with my boring slideshow, but it's gone away for a minute there. Um, okay, so while I was doing that, that, I was reading hundreds of papers every week and it became kind of boring. But the internet you know, was growing and all these new things were being offered and one day my sister texted me and she says, look what I did today and there was a picture of this art project that she had done, some mixed media giraffe that was like really cool looking. And this was in 2014 and I was like, oh my gosh, how'd you do that, where'd you learn it? She's like, I'm taking an online art class. I'm like, online art class? I teach education online. Uh, there's art online? And she was like, yes. So she sent me to this website and I started, I took an online art class. And my mentality has always been, I can do that. So I took this class and it was really fun and it just ignite, reignited my passion for art and I, I'm gonna be an artist, I'm just gonna do it. 
you know, it may not happen today, but I knew I was going to be an artist and I was going to do it online because I had all this. I had 10 years now. At this time, I had had 10 years of teaching college online. I had taught, um, I had built classes on nine different platforms. I had used Moodle, eCollege, Blackboard, Angel, Canvas. I don't, I don't know, but I remember those ones. And um, so I knew how to build a class online, and I thought, okay, I got to learn how to be really good at art. I got to learn to, ha I've got to have some place, some kind of landing place, some kind of platform. I didn't even think website yet. I'm thinking platform just because that's what I, you know, was used to. And, um, and I'm going to have to have a following. Like I knew, I, I knew, I was starting to realize I was going to need people to believe they wanted to learn from me. Um, so I became an artist, and last year I incorporated my business, and I now own Care Bullock Art online and in person. So this is kind of where we'll be going. Uh, in, um. So 2014, I shared that. I, my passion was reignited. Um, and so I knew I had this experience creating curriculum. I knew that I could build an art class online. I just didn't know how exactly I was going to do that. And I knew that I needed to get good at art. And so I was, I mean, I was just obsessed. Once I got back into art, it was like staying up till 2 AM in the morning. I didn't care if I got sleep. I was just painting and um, creating art and still teaching college for seven colleges. So I had about 15 classes, anywhere from 12 to 15 classes at a time, grading all these papers, being a mom, and then painting at night. And it was like sleep didn't matter. It does now, but it didn't at that time. I was just so excited. So I was like, what was next? And so my goal, I'm going to go through goals. And this is in early 2015. My goal, my early on goals were, OK, I want to teach art online. So what do I need to get there? And I knew, like I said, I knew I was going to need an audience that trusted me. I at this time knew I was going to need a website or some kind of landing platform. And I knew I was going to need a good idea to make this happen. Because to be successful, you have to have a good idea. And it can be the same idea as somebody else. You just have to figure out how that idea is going to work for you and how you're going to make it different. So artists, we say, good artists steal like an artist. OK? So you do. Everybody's inspired by somebody. And some people might say, well, somebody's already doing that. It doesn't matter. They're not you. And you what you're going to bring to the table is going to be different than that somebody that's already doing it. So those were some things that I knew. I knew that I was not this, you know, I was inspired by some of these people doing different online classes. But I was a different person, and I was interested in different things. So I looked at what they were doing, and I thought, how can I do what they're doing the way I want to do it? So I started, the first thing I started doing, I was on Facebook. I was kind of new to Facebook. I didn't really use it a whole lot. But um, at this time, I started looking for some art communities online. And I joined uh, several quickly made friends. I, I like people, and so it's easy for me to kind of connect. And I want to know everything about everybody and what they're doing. And um, so I joined a few art communities. And then the online classes I was taking, I think I was in one. It had an art community with about 3,000 people in it. And so I started being active in there and posting my artwork. And people would say, you know, start commenting, just like how Facebook works. And, um, started building these friendships. And then the friendships would go off to you know, inboxing and private messaging and, and really building more of a, a friendship, not just this online um, community. And so these private messages um, ended up be, um, turning into a small group on Facebook. There were about 20 of us. Some, one of the girls that I became friends with early on, she'd been living and working as an artist for about 15 years at the time. Uh, but nothing online. She did um, weekend art fairs. Excuse me. She would take like her art to um, like, a, like a farmer's market type or an art walk. And so she hadn't done anything online yet. And, uh, but she had a big following online. And she and I became good friends. And she created a, a small, it was like the Artist Professional Guild or something like that. And she put about 20 of us in there. And we all started talking about, what are our goals? Where, what do we want to be doing in the next year? And I said, I want to be the girl that's got 3,000 people in her art class. That's who I want to be. And everyone was like, well, Kara, I mean, that's kind of, and I said, guys, we can do this. We can do whatever we want. 
you know, we just got to work for it and, and follow, figure out what do we need to do to get there. So I started building these relationships and um, had this group of 20 where I was feeling really supported and had my husband supporting me and it's just kind of going crazy with like all these ideas, you know, and I felt like I had like way too many ideas than I had time for, which is still kind of, I'm just always that way anyways, but it was really, you know, and then I'm still trying to manage these online schools that I'm teaching for and my kids and, but I was like, nothing was stopping me. One day I'm at school, Brandon Dove, if you're familiar with him, he helps run WordCamp and um, he and I, our kids go to school together. So we're chatting one day and he's got this shirt on with this logo. I'm like, well, what is that? And he says, oh, it's WordPress. Well, what's WordPress? He said, oh, it's a website platform. I need a website. And he said, I can help you. So we met for coffee and uh, he helped me build my website. And uh, I'm so thankful for just that little conversation. And uh, WordPress, it, for me, immediately, um, it was intuitive for me. It felt like it was easy to navigate. And um, it was another canvas for me to create on. So I mean, I have just as much fun working on my website as I do on my paintings. And um, so that happened in 2015. And then I knew I needed a good idea. And I was collaborating with these artists in this small group. And the one that um, had been doing her uh, art walk, selling, selling us on the art walk, I said, you know, let's do a class, an online class together. You don't know how to do the online class, but I do. I can build this class. She had the following. She had a lot of people following that I knew would want to learn from her. And so we kind of needed each other. And then we said, okay, let's invite, we said, let's invite these other four people. And then she's going, no, I don't know. And she's kind of backpedaling, backpedaling. And I said, I'm doing this. So you either get on board with me or I'm going to move on. So she said, okay. So we decided to go for it. It was called Angels Among Us. It was all about creating angels. We put it out before Christmas. We thought people can create Christmas gifts by making these paintings. And we put it for sale, um, I think it was August, because I was, a, I was away on vacation when we put it on sale. And within the first day, we had 80 people sign up. And it was like, oh my gosh, people really want to do this, you know? And 80 people is 80 people. I would have been happy if, you know, 10. But, and then, you know, by the time it went for sale, we had 200 people. I mean, by the time it opened, we had 200 people signed up. And that was the, you know, it was pretty incredible. We were all really excited, and uh, it was it was I, it was a success, and it sold for about two years until I, I closed registration on that um, for other reasons. But um, that helped me to move forward with another idea. I knew it now. I thought, okay, I can reach out to other people and help and, and make them believe that I can help them, and they can help me. I knew this networking was going to be really important. And um, so one of the classes I had taken was a year-long art journaling class. And each week, you would get one lesson from a different artist. And there were about 25 artists in the group. So 50 lessons. Each artist was doing, say, two lessons. And for the whole year, you would get one lesson a week. It would be uploaded on Monday. And you could go do your lesson. And then you have your private Facebook group. and. Um, you have your private Facebook group, and then that's where you show your work so people can comment and you build these relationships. So I wasn't into the art journaling. I'm into uh, drawing and painting people because I love people. And so I was really into portraiture and figurative art. And so I thought, I'm going to do a year-long class on portraits. There's nothing. There's no year-long class on portraits. And so and most of my friends that I had made um, relations with online, they were also portrait artists. So I reached out, I, I drafted an email and a contract and my idea and what they would have to do. And um, I s started sending it out to people, said, hey, do you want to be a part of this? And everybody replied with yes. I don't think I had any no's, <laughs> which was um, you know, a pretty incredible feeling. And uh, that was in 2015. It's called Let's Face It. 
like, let's face it, face. But also, let's face it, like, face your fears of portraits. So it kind of has a little, you know, back end meaning to that. And um, I just, now we're in 2019, I've been selling it since. And uh, at the end of the first year, I had 1,000 students. And um, it was a pretty incredible thing. So that was my good idea. That really helped me. And the 20 people that joined me the first year helped me to network and start getting more students to my website. So, but I also helped them to start living their life as a creative. And many people have been able to quit their jobs or be stay-at-home moms because they are also now teaching art online. So it's really been this, um, whenever people say thank you to me, I'm like, no, thank you, because I, I couldn't be here without everybody else that's been a part of the journey. So how did WordPress help me with my first goal? It gave me a professional landing place for people to come to. So when people were on Facebook and said, well, you know, how do I find you? CareBullockArt.com. I would just say, go to CareBullockArt.com, and you'll see um, everything that I have to offer there. It, um, I was able to create my virtual classroom. I was able to create detailed registration pages so people could go and see, okay, what are they going to get with my class? I could upload pictures. Um, I could, I also always have a bio for any of the teachers in my classes, so WordPress helped me to link um, my, the, whoever's coming to my website to other people as well, so it's helping the people who I'm, who are helping me, it's just this, you know, constant helping. I started my newsletter, thankfully, back in 2015, um, you know, because every, we all thought we were going to be able to run our businesses off of Facebook, but with their algorithms, you got to have your newsletter. So thankfully, I started that early on. Um, it was a place where I could uh, show a gallery of my artworks. And um, at this time, I, I have an important note, one password per class. At this time, I did not have accounts for students. I just had like a drop down menu on, um, let me see if I can put this down for a sec. So here's my website here. And over here on login, there would be this drop down menu just a long list of different classes, and there was a different password for every single class. So once I got up to about 15 classes, because all, along with Let's Face It and Angels Among Us, I started selling my own personal classes and um, hosting other people, which I'll get to in a minute. But I started getting emails daily. I forgot my password to Angels Among Us. I forgot my password to Let's Face It. I forgot my, you know, and I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm like spending all day, like your password is blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and I said to Brandon, Brandon, I need help. You know, I, this is not going to work for me long term because I, I want to have like 50 classes, 100 classes, like this is long term. And he's like, okay, then you're going to need a different system. So that goes into uh, my second goal. So my next goal is in 2016. I needed to, I knew I wanted to expand my art school. So what was that going to entail? I started researching other businesses. I'm always looking at what are other people doing like me that have a, an art business like me? Um, how are they, you know, how does it, how is the navigation? What does it look like? Um, what are their registra registration pages look like? I'm constantly buying art classes to see what other art classes look like. Because I know from my own experience as an educator and teaching college online, it's really important for me that people could navigate my website and navigate through their classes easily. There is nothing more frustrating than going to a website that is not planned out well and that you just don't even know where the heck you are and how to get to where, or okay, now I'm in my class, but how do I get back to this? Or you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I couldn't, I didn't want that and I can't stand that. So. Um, I, I'm always looking to see, is some, somebody doing something better than the way I'm doing it? Um, and, and if so, what do I need to do to just to make, you know, I'm always looking for a way to make things better. Um, so I researched other businesses. I continued creating Let's Face It. Each year I have a few people come back. I've had about five people who have been with me the whole time just because they've been supporting me and, and they have a big following. So it's been a great way to keep bringing more people um, and then it's, a, it's an affiliate system. I'm, I was using eJunkie when I first started. I don't know if you're familiar with affiliate systems, but eJunkie uh, was not very expensive. And, and so I, was, I basically had like a button to PayPal and eJunkie. 
and uh, kind of linking those together. I didn't have e-commerce. I wasn't used, now I use WooCommerce. I wasn't using that yet, but that was also an, a goal. Um, so each year with Let's Face It, I have new artists. So I'm bringing in um, seasoned artists I'm, with a following. And then I also bring in artists who have never, ever taught online, may not have a following at all, and just reaching out saying, hey, you're an amazing artist. Do you know what you can do? Online, do you know that, you know, oh, I've got a full-time job. Well, do you know that I used to have a different full-time job and now this is my job? I mean, you, there's ways to do what you want to, do what you love full-time, you know? And I, I just love when people are like, really? Wow. And then they say yes, and then they learn how to do it. And then they, you know, have their own business or some people are not all about running a business, but I can help them create a class and host it for them and they can still make money and stay home, raise their kids, or put their kids through, through my one girl. She wants to put her kids through this private school. So her teaching online has helped her to do that. Um, so I wanted to offer my own personal classes, more of those. I wanted to host other artists. Um, I wanted to build, I started building a resource library for my students where I linked them to YouTube tutorials. Um, free, copyright free pictures to use for your uh, portraits, because that's another thing. You can't just go to Pinterest and paint whatever you want, especially if you're painting something that looks like somebody. You know, there's copyright issues. So building a, an online photograph, photograph uh, library. And then I left eJunkie and switched to WooCommerce. And then in um, April of 2016, I also opened an in-person art studio. So how did WordPress help me with all of this? OK, so going back to the 50 passwords, I decided to move to Sensei, which is a plugin. It is more for college type classes. Um, if you're going to do something that's going to have quizzes and just more academic type um, classes on your site. Sensei is a great plugin for that, and it worked for me for two years. I say worked because I hit a wall with it, but that's because um, I am really creative and I wanted to do something that was a little bit more customized. Um, and then I switched to WooCommerce, which is awesome. I like hate eJunkie now, but eJunkie was great for me at the time. But having integrated e-commerce is like the best because I can look at reports. It's so easy to say, okay, what did I make? What did my business bring in last month? Or how many classes did I sell? How many, you know, um, just, and it's just all there on my website. So everything's in one place. I don't have to go to PayPal and make my, you know, link and then make a button on my website. It's just so nice and easy. Um, so that's been fantastic. And WooCommerce also has a lot of really great plugins. I use follow-up emails, so if somebody buys a class, and that, that was the thing with Sensei too that was fabulous. You buy a class, it's immediately dropped into your account. You have one username, one password, and um, I didn't have to manually do anything anymore. Everything was automated, which freed up so much time for me, and I was able to paint more, which is what every artist wants. We want more time to draw or paint or whatever it is you do. And I no longer got hundreds of emails a day saying, I forgot my password. Because guess what? If you forget your password, you just click forgot password and you reset it. So that, the, those two things were just amazing for me. Um, so Wu made transactions easier. Oh, it says transcations, but that's really transactions. Um, and then Sensei allowed me to create those accounts with passwords. My courses were more professional looking. I no longer had to, you know, I was just kind of making them with the editor on, Word, on uh, WordPress. So now Sensei has actual lessons and course homepages, so I was really able to make it look more like the classes that I used to teach when I taught college. Had a sidebar that you could go to, which is great. So if you're in one lesson, but you want to go to lesson two, just click on the link in the sidebar. It takes you there. It was just really, and it was really easy to navigate. Something my students love in Sensei. I'm still in Sensei, but I'm transitioning into something new um, as we speak. Um, 
but there's a little progress bar. So as you complete a lesson, you can click it and you see this little, you know, you're 25% through your class. And I, I can't believe how many people love that. I mean, that's not something that's really necessary for me, but I can't tell you how many times we're like, I love seeing my progress. Okay, so I had happy students. It helped with my registration for my workshops because again, everything was linked. You know, my, my product was linked to my course, which was linked to um, WooCommerce. So it's it, everything, it's like you build your course, you build your product, your registration page, it's all linked. Just saved me so much time and it just looked so much better. Um, so then now my current goals and my goals from 2018, to present, I started focusing on branding. I felt like I was kind of a little all over the place. On my website, I had art journaling, I had mixed media, collage, I have florals, I have portraits, but I started looking at what are people coming to buy? You know, and WordPress, I was able to track that because I've, now I've got WooCommerce, so it was really easy for me to start tracking my reports. And, and I thought, I wanna be smart about my business. You know, I wanna, create things that are gonna sell. And I was finding that some classes were selling really well and others weren't. So when I looked at what was really selling really well, it was always the portrait and figure classes. And it's because my demographic is coming to buy those classes. And so I started getting rid, I, I actually retired the, the art journaling classes and some of these other classes that uh, weren't selling so well and um, just started offering only portrait and figurative art classes. And, um, my business started doing even better. Um, and back to the hosting. That was one thing when I was researching other um, businesses, I found a couple businesses that were hosting other artists. And basically that's, I'm gonna reach out to you. Hey, I really like your portraits. It's different than anything I've seen. Um, nobody's doing anything like that. I can mentor you, I can teach you how to create a course. I will sell it on my website, and, but we, and we'll, sell, we'll split the sales 50-50. Yeah, I wanna do that. Most people say yes. I do have some saying no, and they say they wanna try and do it on their own, and then sometimes later on they come back to me. Did my mic go off? Maybe not. They'll come back and say, are you still interested in working with me? And you know, usually I am. De depends though, depends. Sometimes I'm not for different reasons. Maybe my website's now, in a, you know, my school's in a new place and now you don't fit with my school. So no, no, I'm not, but you know what? This person over here, they're doing the same thing and you would fit with them. So I always, I have a lot of people reaching out that now they want to teach on my art, my online art school. They're coming to me, I get submissions. And what I try to do, if it's not, maybe they're not ready to teach portraits, but they're doing these awesome mixed media type classes. You know, I'm not, um, you're, you may, and I, I just say in a nice way, something like, um, that doesn't fit with my uh, agenda for next year for Let's Face It, but I think it'd be a great fit in Lifebook, which is an art journaling uh, online class. They go and they're in that class. You know, so I'm helping people to find what, where their fit is, if that's a passion of theirs. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm out of time. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm moving, to, am I out of time, I have two minutes? Oh, 12? Okay, I was like, okay, um, so I, um, I'm moving now to Member Press from Sensei because, um, and Pixel Jar is helping me to do that as we speak. I really had a vision for what I wanted for my classes. And so I you know, said to Brandon, because um, we see each other often being with our kids at the same school, I said, you know, I really love Sensei, but I feel like th these are the things I'd like to do. And he's like, you're not gonna be able to do that with Sensei. But thank God you're with WordPress because you can do anything with WordPress. You just need a different plugin, right? So that's the best. I have a friend who is on Squarespace, uses the same, uh, has also has a very successful online art business. Guess what? They recently hit a wall. Guess where they are now? WordPress. They're with WordPress. And I kept saying, and they're like, what are you using? I'm like, I'm using WordPress. Oh gosh, oh my, her husband, my husband hates WordPress. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't know why, because it's, I mean, for me, it's easy to use. And he's like a website guy and I'm not. So if it's easy for me, it should be super easy for him. And within a few months, they had made the, the move to WordPress. And, um, you know, 
it's, it's just the most, you can customize everything. It's just awesome, I love it. So we're moving to member press, we're customizing all my classes. I said, this is what I want my class to look like. And they're like, yes, we can do that for you. And I'm so excited because it's gonna be ready in a couple, I don't know, two months? I don't even know, I don't know where they are on the timeline, but I'm so happy um, and, and, uh, I, and I want to offer a membership. So people now, not just, selling classes, you know, $59 for a class or whatever. Now you can pay X amount of dollars per month and have full access to all of the classes. And you can have full access to the resource library with all the images and full access to whatever those extra resources are to really make the membership possible or um, membership desirable and, and valuable to whoever is you know, wanting to buy it. But that is the way that a, a lot of people are headed is the membership. And um, it's also a great way financially to kind of gauge more what's going to be coming in every month. Because the currently, I don't ever know what my monthly income is going to be. So thankfully, my husband has a set income. So we always know what his is going to be. And mine is just kind of like, you know, you never know. Um, and then I'm starting to submit to galleries. I have um, being a presented with an award tonight for a piece at a gallery. So I'll, I'll be heading to that later tonight. So that's exciting. But the gallery that I'm in right now found me on my website. So if I hadn't had that website, she wouldn't have found me. So my WordPress has just really helped me to do so many things um, for my business that I just never would have been able to do without it. And and uh, it's just helping me to continue to grow one step at a time and take baby steps and, and just to um, do all the things that I want to do. And I'm, I'm continuing to mentor. Um, and, and so I'll show you quickly my site. Um, oh, how will, how will WordPress help? And I, I already really went over this. I'm switching from Sensei to Member Press. I'm, uh, I accept submissions for online if you want me to host a class for you, if you want to apply to be in Let's Face It, or I also accept submissions from photographers for our online library of photos. So if you're a photographer, if that's a little side gig that you're doing, you can submit. Um, place for galleries to view art in my resume, and then it's just going to be more customized. And, and Brandon, uh, he knows uh, Pixel Jar. They know I'm an artist, and I'm constantly changing. My vision is constantly changing. My art's changed a lot. Every, I'm, I'm just like I'm always moving forward, and I get bored. So I know that that will continue. And um, so they've really put me in a place now where I can continue to be super creative and continue to um, customize my things. This is my artwork. The two on the right are my daughter. The one on the left is a, a friend. Um, but I do I'm kind of like an impressionistic, expressionist, figurative portrait artist. Um, the one in the middle, I, I believe, well, these two are in the gallery. And one of those is being given an award tonight. I don't know uh, which one yet. So that's a surprise. Um, and then this is my site. I'll take you there really quickly. Um, the branding, become the artist you were meant to be. I want people to know right away when they land on my website what they're there for. And if you click on Start Creating Now, it takes you to the online um, li library of classes. My tagline is Connect, Collaborate, Create. I offer mentoring, live classes, online courses. And, and basically, my, my main business is really my online classes. So here's my library of classes that we offer. And then I also have business classes. Um, so that basically is it. And uh, I think I have like two minutes. If anybody has questions, do you sell those, paintings? those are my paintings. Do you sell them? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Is that on the website? Yeah, it's on my gallery. So if you go to my gallery, that'll pop up. Um, but yeah, I sell everything. Everyone's like, how can you sell your children? <laughs> <laughs> No pun intended. I'm like, well, I live with them, so I see them every day, you know. But um, yeah, I always say all my art is for sale, any of it. I, I, there are a couple pieces that I keep, but. Um, you talked about teaching previously. Yes. Doing this. Were you, uh, oh, sorry. you talked about, oops. You talked about uh, teaching previously. Did you use that accreditation? in terms of what you were offering online, or do you recommend the people that work for you have accreditation, or how does that I don't work? think you need, I, I mean, to do, to, I think for a creative business, I don't think you need accreditation. 
Did it help me? Absolutely. And does it help me, I think, when, when, when I'm offering um, to host somebody, I think that they see the experience that I've had with developing curriculum and teaching. I think that that makes me more desirable to work with. But I absolutely do not think, I don't think you even need a college degree to do what I'm doing. In terms of, but you, you talk about building the course curriculum. I think, no, I think there's a, well, I mean, it's, it really helped me. But I think that there's a lot of people that do it that don't have any experience in that at all. So I, I don't think you need it. But if you have questions, you talk to me. Yeah. Okay, thank you everybody, thank you so much.